what is DevOps? So a couple of years back or a few years back, there's a speculation like everyone has their own thoughts about DevOps. But today, I think everyone is uh, almost aware of, uh, you know, so what is DevOps, right? So basically, you no. Know. But in our way, so also want to talk about, we wa would like to talk about what is DevOps. And or in my context, what is DevOps or what I have seen, what is DevOps? I'll just talk about that. And uh, so before starting uh, about DevOps or before getting into DevOps, you need to understand so that any uh, so any any role in the organization uh, is going to um, uh, any role in the organization is going to get created by the business, right? So or let me put this way. So let's today's agenda. So agenda of today's session is going to be let me put it at you no know, so a point. So what is there before DevOps or before we just want to understand business, right? Before so before DevOps, probably my writing is not that great, but just <laughs> so um, um, and after that, you know how DevOps evolved, um, DevOps evolution probably. So DevOps evolution and you know the tools which we are going to talk about tools we are talking all right so yeah this is the simple agenda which which we would like to have for today and um, so yeah now before coming uh, into devops we would like to understand does the any any role in an organization irrespective of any you know irrespective of any role in any organization or in any organization a role comes into picture okay so if there is a business need definitely right there is a business need then you get a job otherwise you'll not get a job you're a linux admin you're getting a job means because there is a need of maintaining servers and servers is needed by the business and you're an it guy so probably you know so or a dba guy so dba so there is a main there is a purpose of maintaining the database because the database is needed for the business so like that everything everywhere the business is involved right so without a business you will not get a role okay so now uh, what business actually which business okay so which business we're talking about there are a lot of businesses in it right so we're talking about uh, okay so software development we're talking about software uh, okay so development in the software development okay so there are certain uh, jobs actually which are involved okay so definitely everyone would be mostly aware of those things so one is major least developer so there is a developer guy who is actually going to do the development okay so and uh, he's going to do the development and uh, so and so he makes the products basically okay but He's the guy who makes end-to-end, -end, so makes the product and go to the market and sell it and things like that. No, so in the software development, it usually will be having um, another role which is called as uh, business analyst, B analyst. Okay, so this is the core guy actually. Okay, uh, on the on the business perspective and understand the business and grabs the you know opportunities and give to the development team. And the development team will make the products and ultimately you're going to have something called as the testers okay quality people you have so without quality you cannot uh, sign up any uh, or sign off any product so that doesn't make sense testing is a very critical phase and uh, and uh, you know so this is this is simply on the development perspective now let's say uh, today most of the world is running on cloud right so we're hearing about a cloud okay so cloud means everything is a web and the applications are web applications that's pretty simple so today everything is on cloud it's not it's not actually started today so back in 2000 itself so most of the people uh, especially the google uh, you know came up or even yahoo before google yahoo you had most of the applications they were trying to make put it as web applications okay applications which are not web either you take yahoo mail or you take yahoo search engine or yahoo messenger okay so yahoo groups you know, a lot of yahoo products are there and google you got it you know google a lot of products everything you see it is on google and you see some products actually you know so uh, earlier back in time so i used to use some microsoft products especially microsoft office so back in time so how i used to use microsoft office i used to you know so purchase i used to do an online purchase probably okay or go to a store and do the purchase probably in you know so out of uh, you know out of remote locations probably people will not have the stores and all so they do the online purchase 
and once they do the online purchase they ship the cd and you get a cd you put the cd and you install the software and you will have a key you register that and it will work that is how it is and later it has been evolved in such a way that the cd dvd part is being done and uh, so they used to give the software try to download you download from the internet install it and you purchase you get a subscription id you give it and it works but today that is also not happening no installations microsoft office is completely on on the web browser so what all the features you can use are uh, your microsoft office by installing in your local system is completely now available on the web so directly without any installation go open the browser you go to office365.com you get you know you, even you can get better free of cost so go to uh, board or excel or powerpoint or whatever you want to you choose just choose that and you get it pretty cool right so that is where uh, okay so the industry has been leading so into the cloud so i'm talking about the businesses or the development is more of web application so now it comes to the web application so if it is a web application so there is a some customer actually so you know so some group of customers so who would be accessing our application so accessing our application so that means it is hosted somewhere in our server somewhere in some server it is being hosted agreed everyone hopefully agrees right so so as it is being hosted somewhere on our server so there should be some role actually and some people actually you know get job in this particular area so who are the people so right from the look right from the scratch if you look into so you have um, data center engineers data center engineers okay or you have network people you have network people and after that you have uh, some servers so servers means uh, you have uh, you know os admins probably windows linux unix whatever it is and after that to host this application you are going to have something called as middleware middleware team you are going to have and to monitor all these things you will be having l1 support team uh, l1 support or noc we call it as uh, network operation center or goc global operation center people call with different names so these are the different roles involved okay so together on the software development you know so these are the roles so apart from you know so again you will be having some management roles as well so just excluding those things i'm talking about few technical so if you go in technical these are the general roles which you see in an organization okay so this is because developer is actually doing that this is on the development so they are doing the development So these guys are doing the development and these guys are doing the operations okay so we are just been doing this and in order to do this actually so the development team is actually using a mechanism or using a mechanism i can say using a methodology so which is called as waterfall model they are making waterfall model uh, they were using a waterfall model using waterfall model okay so you know uh, they are actually making the development so this is on the development perspective you don't need to worry about anything on that so the developers were using a waterfall model and this is what the roles which, which just came out of because of their development methodology okay so and how the work used to be here okay so i mean uh, the, the work is used, is going to be uh, in waterfall model is you um, you know so they are going to uh, be the developers okay so developers doing the development and hand over it to testers okay and testers is going to hand over to operations team to do that operations involves all this particular team okay so this is what the process okay and this process takes uh, okay so months and years months and years of time it used to take it used to take months and years of time to get in there to get into the operation so the development team continuously to work on the development and testing team will take some time to do the testing and finally goes to the operation so this is how the cycle takes uh, you know some months and years so probably the best example is uh, you know the best example is windows operating system windows operating system windows os is a waterfall model why because okay they take years to come up with a version years to come with a major version right major version and uh, 
so or uh, i can say that it is uh, until until windows xp xp until windows xp at least probably i'm not sure everyone is being aware of windows xp operating system so back in days uh, a decade back but yeah so until windows xp majorly and they after that they mixed it and now they are into as well as they are into pure agile as well so but yeah if you understand the uh, old model so windows os is the is the waterfall model so years they take they release a major version and uh, so again uh, month to year uh, a month or to an year so they release service pack service pack or in the in the or in general we it is a minor version so they used to release service packs there is no updates like today whatever you are getting updates back in days there were no updates because it's a waterfall model and the, the cycle again to take it it takes a long time okay so they collect all the gather the requirements understand you know so they do the development again goes to the testing team finally goes to the operations team, things like that okay it takes years of work okay so then um, okay so windows means microsoft has a good amount of money everyone can invest that much that much amount of time and uh, so they whether the product gets successful or failure they can sustain in the market okay so and uh, the problems if you look into these uh, actually is so the problems which uh, if you see here uh, here in the waterfall model are uh, definitely you know you yourself can now now tell me so that you know so the problems the first major problem would be okay more uh, more investment more investment uh, as more time for development as more time for development right so as it is taking more time okay so more investment is needed okay no guarantee of your success rate no guarantee on success rate so you are ready with your product up you know so one or two years and you come to the market and uh, no one want your product there's a chance right so that is where um, these you know so no uh, no success guarantee no success guarantee okay so this is what uh, you know the problems with the waterfall model okay so and that's where uh, okay on the developers developers actually it's not our uh, it's not our uh, um, you know bothering so the developers actually okay uh, you know so started looking into alternatives which is called as uh, agile methodology so slowly slowly uh, software development development started you know seeing problems in seeing problems in uh, um, software development seeing problems in uh, waterfall model waterfall model and uh, you know so started started looking alternatives natives and uh, agile is most suitable for today needs okay so hence hence agile hence agile uh, is uh, is being adopted all right so in agile model so we are getting uh, you know so uh, in in agile model we are actually doing the development now in agile model is there anything role changes no actually initially none of the role changed the developer were there business analyst were there tester is there and even the on the server and the operations prospect you have all these people but actually how agile works actually you need to understand how actually agile is actually telling uh, to get it work actually so that that gives you understanding so what was a problem statement so the problem statement of using you know so operations also um, so operations teams also um, been 
adopted same structure same structure for agile as well in agile also you know so we started adopting the same structure you know so linux admin middleware guy you know so data center guy or you know like this different hierarchy dba guys okay so like this different different guys are there okay so you know so the same structure has been imported or adopted basically and uh, now after running for you know so months 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 and quarters and years so people started seeing the problem what is a problem major problem people are seeing is so agile model so agile tells is agile goes on a uh, short cycles agile goes on agile goes on short cycle okay so as it is going on short cycle that means uh, your cycle is going to be okay so your cycle of release is going to be either one week two weeks three weeks okay is for a release and even uh, you know so your uh, bugs and all uh, you know your bugs and all is going to be you know so it's going to be your bugs and all is going to be daily so your if any bugs are there you know so we'll be doing uh, you know daily fixes as well now every one week or two weeks two weeks is the more standard way people use this and every daily some changes are coming so that ultimately so should go to the production environment right so should go to the production environment and the customers are you know so want to use these particular features whatever is being released by the customer because uh, you know so some are bugs are there some customers are impacting so now you need to release into the production your code you know whatever is being developed so the code should go to here so into the servers where customers are accessing and that environment we generally call it as prod environment and uh, you know so that particular uh, you know so so th the code should go to the production and that's where uh, the delay is happening okay so over a period of time so people observed that so here uh, there is a too much delay in, you know so people observed too much delay too much delay is happening okay so assuming for an example so let's say developer developer taking uh, you know let's say one day to one day to fix a bug then operations guys are taking operations guys are taking let's say as a rough example so two to three days actually two to three days what is this <laughs> something who is creating new things are actually you know taking less time but who want to operate it is actually taking more time that is a major problem statement so people started observing so that's where who is actually getting impacted if that much delay is there the end client is the one who is getting impacted if the end client is getting impacted and you think about your business okay so you cannot sustain for a long time so that is the problem that is a major problem okay 